everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I'm featuring the On the Farm bundle from the 2023 Spring Mini Catalog from Stampin' Up. This is a fabulous bundle. Look how many dies there are. Um, the dies actually will cut out your stamped images, but also if you get the paper during celebration, um, it will cut out the large animals here in the paper as well. Um, we're going to use the little animals. See right here how tiny and cute they are, um, as well as a few other pieces to make this uh, card. All right. Well, let's get started. We're going to do our stamping first. We're going to stamp in Memento Black. And the reason why I choose the Memento Black is because I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends. And that's the um, ink that you need to use when you use alcohol markers. All right, so we've got a little barn and a hay bale. And then I'm going to cut out also a cloud from Smoky Slate. We've got dies for all three of these things. I've already cut out the tiny animals. So we'll take care of those in just a little while. All right, I'm gonna start with the barn and I'm using Cherry Cobbler Stampin' Blends uh, because that is the color that is in the designer series paper. If you're ever wondering what colors um, are in the paper, you just have to look at the back of the, the card. You know, there's like a chipboard piece at the back of the DSP pack and listed, it'll have all the Stampin' Up! colors there. So. Cherry Cobbler is one of the colors, and so you know that if you use Cherry Cobbler ink or cardstock or embellishments, they're going to match perfectly. That's the beauty of Stampin' Up's color families is that you don't have to guess and try to pick and choose from your stash to find colors that match because if it says Cherry Cobbler, it's gonna be Cherry Cobbler all the way across. All right, so that was light Cherry Cobbler and I'm gonna take the dark and just kind of add a little bit of shadow there under the roof, but it's under those each slats of the barn too. I love red barns. I visited Michigan a few years ago, and I was just in awe of all the, the barns. They weren't all necessarily red, but there were big, beautiful barns everywhere. And that is something here in South Texas you just don't see. We have a lot of farmland, but our barns aren't big and beautiful like this. I don't know why. A lot of silver buildings out here in Texas. <laughs> but that, that was my takeaway from those of you who live in Michigan, your beautiful state there had the most beautiful barns. All right, so now for the hay bale, I'm just going to take So Saffron. Isn't that a cute little hay bale? I mean, who would think that you needed a, a hay bale stamp? But oh my gosh, it's the cutest. This um, bundle, I think, would be great for kid birthday cards. Um, it would also be great for, you know, summer themed cards, um, just a lot of things, general, you know, spring type cards. This paper has vegetables on it, um, which is kind of like the growing season. You know, you can use that during the spring. All right. I'm using my new, um, mini stamp and cut machine that is boho blue. This is, uh, only available during celebration to those who purchase a starter kit. Isn't it adorable? This is the first time I'm using it. Gotta break in those plates. They're nice and clean and clear right now, but they won't stay that way. And that's okay, because that just means we're using it. All right, so we've got our three dies. I'm gonna carefully lay down my plate and run it through. All right. Now put those dies back or you'll lose them. Ask me how I know these things. All right, we've got all of our pieces. I have cut a craft um, tailor-made tag. This is the largest uh, tag in the die set. Um, I have two cute little blushing bride piglets and I'm gonna take my black stamp and write marker and just add a little eye to each of them. I'm gonna do the same thing with a little goose. I'm also gonna take my pumpkin pie and add a little bit of a beak to my goose and color his little, his little legs down here just to give them 
a little bit of contrast. Okay, now let's grab crumb cake. And I'm gonna add some of these, I don't know if you guys can see, these little hills back here. And I'm just gonna start kind of right there. And then stamp each time, just kind of moving my stamp to the left and to the right so it's not exactly the same all the way down. It's in the background, it's not real noticeable, so don't worry too much about that. Okay, now I'm gonna take Stampin' Blends, or Stampin' Blends, Stampin' Dimensionals, and start adding in some of these. I'm gonna also use my liquid glue. This is a basic black windmill that I cut. I should have put an adhesive sheet on the back of it before I cut it, but I did not. That would make it easier to adhere. So you don't have to worry about the glue. I'm also gonna glue down the hay bale flat behind the barn. All right, now let's take some many dimensionals and put them here. Not many, Stampin' Blends, <laughs> many dimensionals, Stampin' Dimensionals. And then I'm gonna put my pig one here. And you know what I did on my card? I turned this pig over actually so that they were facing different directions. Let's put the little eye right there. And we'll put him right there. And then our little goose. All right. Oh, and our clouds as well. We'll put a mini dimensional right there. Add that cloud. I'm using my take your pick tool to pick these up. Just makes it a little bit easier. All right, let's get some of our window pane ribbon. And we're gonna fold this through here like that. And then we're gonna take some twine. This is from our essential twine, essential pack, essentials, basics. Can't remember the name. I will have a full list of the supplies over on my blog. There will be a free PDF for you with supplies and measurements. It's free as well as two other farm projects for you as well. Now I put my block on the ribbon to hold it down while I tie this. Makes it a little bit easier. And we're gonna tie those ends together like this. Snip, snip. Okay, I'm gonna kind of spread them apart a little bit. Well, let's do a better job on that. There we go. All right, now we're gonna bring in that adorable designer series paper. I picked the vegetable pattern. I've got a cherry cobbler card base. What's on the back? Oh, it's that same stripe. The um, paper has a busy side. Every The paper in this pack has a busy side, like this with animals or farm farmland. And then it ha the other side, it has a geometric pattern. And some of them, one of them looks like um, chicken wire. This one kind of looks like a road maybe. There's one that's kind of um, looks like maybe tire tread marks. Really cute concept on this paper. I really like it. All right, dimensionals here on our tag. Let's put one in the middle and we'll put this over to the left side. Now, you could use a variety of sentiments here. I am using one from the um, stamp set. Now remember, you don't have to use the sentiments that are in your stamp set. Sometimes they're not exactly right. If you want this to be a birthday card, then go find, go look through all your stamps and find a birthday sentiment. So you can use whatever you want. I like this one, it's pretty generic. From all of us, it could be a birthday card, it could be a retirement card, graduation card, I mean anything, right? Now I'm just gonna cut a strip here and I'm gonna add a piece of, I use my scissors, but if you want it to be perfectly straight, make sure you get your trimmer didn't have my trimmer on me here at the table, so I just went for it with my scissors. And cut that off, and that's it. How fun and cute. We've made a little farm scene here 
with our little um, farm animals. Um, the stamp set also has a silo, trees, chicken, I mean, everything that you could need. Now make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, grab that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.